Hello, this is Jim Koppel with The Legacy Project. A few years before my father died, he said to me, Son, I doubt if you'll ever be great, but I have a feeling you will know a lot of great people. I'm still trying to figure out if that was a compliment, a reality check, or an insult. But one thing is for sure, in the course of my long life, I have had the privilege or good luck to meet with every president since Harry Truman. I was five years old when I met Harry Truman in my father's restaurant on Independence Square in Independence, Missouri. I was 11 years old when I met John F. Kennedy in the holding room at Truman Corner Shopping Center in Grandview, Missouri. He was campaigning or running for president. I met Barack Obama when I was about 60 years old, and I met Donald Trump when I was 45, and he pledged $10,000 to a substance abuse project I was running. He never honored the pledge. However, I digress. Today, as we approach the inauguration of Joseph R. Biden, who I have met numerous times, I want to tell you about my encounter with John F. Kennedy. I was one of 10 grandchildren to my grandmother Ethel, and I am relatively certain, much to the chagrin of my siblings and my cousins, I was her favorite. She would often pull me out of school to campaign for candidates, and she succeeded in getting us into the holding room when Kennedy was speaking at Truman Corners. We walked into the room. I'm wearing a white shirt with a bow tie, a new pair of slacks, and well-polished shoes. I'm standing next to my grandmother as she makes her way over to Kennedy. They began a discussion about organized labor. My grandmother was very pro-labor and supported or union organizers. The exchange went back and forth. The Kennedys were not necessarily pro-labor. In fact, the unions were highly suspect of Kennedy in the beginning years of his presidency. But they were going back and forth. And finally, Kennedy knelt down beside me and he looked at me square in the eyes. And he said in that Boston accent, Jimmy, what can I do for you? And I looked back at him, square in the eyes, and I said to him, support labor. He broke out laughing, and he tapped me on the head, and he said, I'm going to do what I can. I'll do my best. Three years later, President Kennedy would be assassinated. I memorized his speeches, watched every video I could, and embraced his pragmatic idealism in my work with the poor and the marginalized. I was a labor organizer for a while with the American Federation of Teachers and the AFL-CIO, Kennedy gave me a legacy that I cherished, based upon a brief encounter at Truman Corners when I was 11 years old. But that brief encounter would forever change my life and my view of how I serve my country. This is a legacy I cherish. This is Jim Koppel with The Legacy Project.